In this video, we will walk through a typical outdoor TV antenna installation featuring the Channel Master Ultra Antenna mounted to an EVE using the universal antenna mount. Before commencing with the install, we recommend preparing by going through the following steps. First, find the location of your local broadcast towers. This information is available for free online on various websites including channelmaster.com on the antenna selection page. Simply enter your street address and zip code into the tool to view a list of available over-the-air TV channels in your area. The location of your local broadcast towers is shown as a compass heading direction in degrees. Next, go outside and identify all possible obstructions, such as buildings or trees, that could be impeding line of sight between the broadcast towers and your home. Lastly, for homes that are already hardwired with coaxial cable from a previous cable or satellite installation, you'll want to locate the point where the existing coax enters the home. This is where the cable from the antenna will connect into the existing coax. Mounting the antenna within close proximity to this location is ideal and will save you a significant amount of time and effort during the installation process. For this installation, the local broadcast towers are all located to the west at compass heading 250 degrees. We'll be using the following tools and equipment. The Ultra Tenna Outdoor TV Antenna. Ultra Mini 4 Port Distribution Amplifier. Universal Antenna Mount. The Power Passing 2-Way Splitter. Coaxial Cable. The Coaxial Connector Installation Kit. A power drill, a ladder, 1 8 inch drill bit, a nut setter drill bit, a level, a cable wire cutter, heavy duty zip ties, a 3 8 inch socket wrench. When installing the universal antenna mount to an EVE, use the base plate as shown to mark the location of where the holes need to be drilled. Next, Drill four pilot holes into the eave using the 1 8 inch drill bit. Use the included lag bolts and a power drill to attach the universal antenna mount to the eave. Make sure the pole is completely straight you can do this by placing a level at the top of the pole and then loosening and or tightening the adjustment screws on the mounting brace and at the base of the pole. We now attach the included U-bolt nest assembly to the mounting bracket of the antenna. Next, we slide the mass through the center of the U-bolt and then we tighten the nuts using a wrench to secure the connection. The next step is to feed coaxial cable through the inside of the mast and connect it to the antenna. It's important to create a drip loop on the cable to allow moisture to drain off safely and to prevent water from causing any damage to any of the connections. Next, we'll mount the Ultra Mini 4-Port Distribution Amplifier to a beam under the eave using screws. This device is like an amplified splitter. It will help to maintain signal strength levels even after signal is split four ways. This four port model can provide signal to up to four televisions. Grab the coax cable from the antenna and connect it into the RF in port of the amplifier. Next, grab the coax cables running into the house and connect them into the RF out ports of the amplifier. For installations that have access to a power outlet close by, the next step is to power the amplifier by running coaxial cable from the power in port of the amplifier and connecting it to the included power adapter as shown. Finally, to ground the system, we use a copper wire from the ground and connect it to the side of the amplifier as shown. Per National Electric Code, grounding the antenna is highly recommended to reduce risks associated with lightning strikes.
For more information about properly grounding your antenna, we recommend referring to the National Electric Code at nfpa.org. It's now time to scan for channels on your television. To do so, click the Menu or Settings button on your TV and scroll down to Broadcasting. On other televisions, it might be called Channel Setup or Channels. Make sure it's set to Air or Antenna, not Cable. Then, select Auto Scan or Auto Program. The TV will begin to search for available channels. This process typically takes just a few minutes. When completed, all of the free HD channels should be available to watch. This concludes the Ultra Tenna Outdoor TV Antenna installation. For additional product and installation videos from Channel Master, please subscribe to our official YouTube channel or visit us online at channelmaster.com.